from caterpillar to butterfly, from larvae to mosquito, from egg to chicken. There are many life cycles we see every day, but there's also a cycle happening right now within your cell. We're going to talk about the cell cycle today. And first of all, what is the cell cycle? It's a little bit different than the development of a caterpillar to a butterfly. It is, however, the cycle of growth and asexual reproduction of a body cell. It has two major phases, which are the interphase and the mitotic phase. I divided them here in the inner circle on the picture in the middle, the interphase with its turquoise color and the mitosis or the mitotic phase with a neon orange. The interphase is the phase in which the cell grows and copies its DNA and the mitotic phase is the phase in which the cell separates the genetic information and it divides the cytoplasm. So in the mitosis we get from one mother cell two daughter cells. If you're not sure about how the mitosis works, you can go back to my other video, which I posted uh, earlier. Uh, I will try to link it in here so that you can go through it again. So as it's a cycle, it's a little bit difficult, but let's try to find where the cycle starts. So usually in the literature, it says that the cycle starts just when the new cell is formed. So directly after the mitosis. Um, or after the division from the mother cell. And its purpose? Uh, it's to prepare the cell to divide itself again. Just to mention it here, because it's right here on the poster, G1 phase, S phase and G2 phase together build the interface. Okay, let's go through the different phases of the interface, because the mitosis as a whole I describe in another video. So first the G1 phase. Um, I put in red titles to kind of memorize what's happening in the phases. So G1 phase is the growth phase. It's where the cell becomes larger. It develops more cytoplasm to come to the size of a normal mother cell. And also the cell organelles are copied. I can make another video where I describe all the cell organelles and what's happening within a normal cell. But just to remember, it's where after the mitosis, the cell reaches its full maturity and uh, divides and prepares everything it needs for its normal, um, yeah, its normal everyday function. Then a phase which uh, the cell can enter, but doesn't necessarily have to, is the G0 phase. Not GO phase, but G0. It's when the cell becomes inactive, so it's not uh, preparing itself again to divide. It's kind of in a rest phase. And there are two scenarios where a cell can enter the uh, G0 phase, either when it's inactive and is waiting for an external trigger uh, to onset the G1 phase, so it again prepares to divide. That can be, for example, phases of starvation, or when the body says, okay, we have enough of these cells, we don't need right now uh, that the cell divides itself. But when some kind of stress faces the body, then the cell can go back to the G1 phase and can divide again. That can also be, for example, after damage to the cell or any other external trigger necessary for the cell to divide. Another scenario is when the cell is in general one of those that divides rarely or never. And uh, that's, for example, the mature cardiac cells or nerve cells, which are permanently in the G0 phase. And in case something happens to them and they uh, die, then um, the cell will be replaced usually, or the tissue where the cells are damaged and die is usually replaced by scar tissue, for example, in a cardiac infarction. But it's another tip topic. Just remember that in G0, the cell is inactive and is not preparing to divide again. Then the next phase within the interphase is the S phase. I called it preparation phase because here the cell synthesizes a complete copy of DNA and also it duplicates the centrosome, which is 
kind of like a microtubule organizing structure, which is then necessary for the metaphase of the mitosis where the different chromatids are divided from each other at these centrosomes. The next phase is the G2 phase. I called it countdown because it's the last phase before the mitosis and this is where the cell grows even more and also it reorganizes its organa organelles to be ready to go into mitosis. Okay, so to recap, G1 phase is the growth phase right after the division where the cell becomes to its normal size. Then the S phase is where the DNA is uh, doubled and the centrosomes are duplicated. And then the G2 phase is where the cell organelles are reorganized. A question I often ask myself, but we never really talked about it in school or uni, is how long the cell cycle lasts. And I found um, in the literature I had at home that usually a typical human cell takes around 24 hours uh, to complete the cell cycle. And then there are these fast cycling cells which only need nine to 10 hours. And this depends on the cell type and on the tissue. And in the intestinal lining, we have these fast cycling cells which divide more rapidly Usually those are cells that are exposed either to more noxious particles or which are uh, more often wearing off. I hope the cell cycle was made clear here. If you have questions to, my, to the mitosis, go back to my video. Yeah, I hope I explained everything here. If you liked my video, I would be very happy if you would subscribe and like my video. And then tomorrow we will talk about meiosis, another type of cell division. Thank you very much.